Hey guys, what's up? How are you doing? I hope you're well, I hope you're good, I hope you're wondrous. This is gonna be a super short video. This is just gonna be a quick show of my recent eco dye paper, but then the main part of this video is gonna be my unboxing, my opening of my junk trunk journal kit. This is the spring junk trunk crit kit. Mm -hmm. Let's try that again, Samantha. The spring junk trunk journal kit. Yes, <laughs> I'm on the design team. I'm super excited. But first, before we open this, I'm going to go through this. So I don't know if you guys follow me on Instagram. I didn't do a video for this because I was just experimenting. I wasn't even sure if it was going to turn out. But I did post them on Instagram. I went ahead and did some eco dyeing for the first time ever. And you know what? Jibid Neri, she's the one who inspired me. She did a video recently with... Um, plant transfer so it's not really eco dyeing it's plant transfer it's slightly different and i'm gonna try that very soon i might try that one in a video we'll see but i wanted to try the eco dye first but she inspired me so much she's amazing guys if you're not watching jibid i'm gonna link her below i'm sure you already know who she is if you don't get your life together follow her her journals are amazing so here's my little stash i didn't do much and they didn't come out the greatest but I still love it. I gathered up some leaves and stuff. I live in the city, so I went behind my building and picked up stuff that may have fallen. I stole some flowers from the building. Sorry, shh, and just did my thing. <laughs> this is the first one, and this is my favorite. I hope you guys can see this. I love this part. Look at the veins from the leaves. So they came out like purplish, greenish, bluish. It's just so cool. These are from some little purple flowers. They came out blue. And then there's some red flowers I had too that came out blue. I'll show you in a second. But this is my favorite sheet. I love that. And then there's this one. I don't know how these are going to show up on camera. But these are the red flowers. And they came out blue. And then these are the purple flowers. And then some of the leaves came out this kind of reddish tone and green. I just, this eco dye thing is so freaking cool. This is the red flower again. And of course, I put the flowers in the middle and smashed it, but like a dummy. I didn't put anything on the outsides, like in between each one. So the backs are kind of plain and dirty looking. But that's okay. That's okay. That's all right. And then there's this one. I like how this little print came out. It's so cute. I hope this is focusing. I don't know if it is, but whatever. This was a dud. Nothing really came out here. This was some long leaves that I had that just didn't make an imprint. And then this paper I tried. Now this is this weird colored, it's like a grayish craft odd colored paper. And I tried these because I just thought it had a old look and it might look cool in a journal. And they came out pretty cool. I mean, it's different. It's different. But these ones came out okay. They look more dirty than eco dyed. <laughs> but I don't mind the dirt and the mess. These are kind of cute. I love when the leaves come out with the little veins like that. And then that one's kind of crazy looking. That is my eco dyeing. That's what I went ahead and tried. I'm absolutely trying the paint transfer next. And more eco dyeing, of course. Alright, moving along to the point of the video. <gasps> No, okay, this isn't going to be a surprise when I open this because I already know what's in the kit. I'm not going to freak out. <laughs> I know some of you hate my squealing and my freaking out, so don't worry, okay? There are still kits available. Guys, that is a shocker because you know Jessica's kits. This is from I'm a Cool Mom. Oh, maybe I should tell you some information, eh? I just assume that you already know. <laughs> This is Jessica Huffman. I'm a cool mom. Obviously, I'm going to link everything with her down below. Her Instagram, her YouTube, all that good stuff. Her shop, of course. And she comes out with a junk trunk kit. And it's basically a junk journal kit that comes with everything you need to make your journal. The cover, the fabric. There are some papers. There's ephemera. There's little pieces of stuff and bits and bobs it's just amazing it's kind of like a quarterly thing and this is the spring junk trunk check it out there's still more available usually her kits go first day of the sale they're gone but there's actually still some available so if you want your kit 
go check it out link is below hurry up and get it while it lasts it comes with video classes it comes with extra printables for more ephemera she even sells the video and the printables by itself so that if you don't want to you know pay to ship an actual physical kit you can get just the printable stuff and the videos which is all digital so check it out this is just amazing and look how cute it's packaged she even has a couple other people featured in this kit that added some ephemera for her i'm just going to kind of quickly go through this is her information as well as those of us that are on the design team so there's Lindsay, creatively free to be me scrap your own way and luna and then the shops that she featured tsunami rose i'm sure you guys all know who that is above park crafts and feed the birdies so i'm gonna go through the kit and this is her youtube i'm a cool mom cool mom book boutique is her etsy but like i said i'll drink i'll i'll drink it below <laughs> I'll link it below. I'm saying I'll drink it because I need coffee. I just woke up. I haven't had my coffee yet. And so I'm thinking about drinking coffee, not alcohol, coffee. I mean, I drink alcohol, but not first thing in the morning. Come on, guys. Come on. <laughs> this is the, um, what I'm not going to show you, secret links. This is just for the videos and stuff like that. This is just a little note card from Jez. Okay, here we go now. This is the fabric that you get. It had another style of fabric. It was like a blue with flowers. That was kind of limited edition and those are gone, but this, I believe this is the one that's still left. It's a gorgeous fabric though. Gorgeous. And it has enough here for you to make a whole journal and you might even still have some left to make a little mini book if you want. It feels so soft. This is the... This is a little package from Above Par Crafts. So let's get into this. And everything is just packaged so cute. I don't wanna rip this cause you know, us creatives, we don't rip tape. We keep tape. You're going in something else. Let's see what's inside. This little package here allows you to make a little paperclip flower. Look at that washi. Isn't that cute washi? I love washi. This is a little doily. Oh, it's so tiny. And this is her information here. Pause it if you need to, but I'm going to link it below anyway. That's her little card. That is so cute. This is a piece of, oh, it's a card. How gorgeous is that? Cute. And this is a real book card. Oh my gosh. This is so cute. You could tell these are like kids. Aww. Kylie, Mandy, Ryan, Brandon. That is adorable. I wish I knew the year. It shows the dates, but we don't know what year it is. That is just so cute though. I remember these days of signing books out from the library. How fun was that? This one is from um, Feed the Birdies. And this is just some extra little ephemera. Circle cutout thingy. That's cute. Another card, flinch. This is awesome. These are like the little tags that come with the flowers when you plant them. Chrysanthemum. That's pretty. And this is another little piece of ephemera. Billy goat. This is a billy goat. <laughs> and then this is a little package that Jess sends you with the kit. And this has all your little extras for your journal. This little baggie, I don't want to open it and take everything out, but well, I'll show you a couple things in here. It does have little buttons. It's got a little key. That is so cute. I don't have anything like this, like metal embellishments. I barely have. This is like what you put on the side of the book so you can hang a tassel off of it. It's pretty big. I might use that. I've never made a tassel before, but why not? It's got these cute Tim Holtz clips that I've been dying to try. Look how cute those are. I'm sure you've all seen these before. And then it has some buttons, some book corners, some little extras, and then some little pieces of ephemera and stuff. So this looks like wallpaper. Ooh, that's cute. Can you see that shine? Ooh, that's really pretty. This is some cheesecloth. You have another little piece of the fabric if you want to use it for like tabs or whatever in the journal. There's a piece of lace. That's gorgeous. This can like close your journal for the closure, that's probably what I'm going to use it for. It's a cute little stamp. These mini envelopes, so adorable. So cute. These are some craft 
paper doilies, which I've never seen before. I think that's awesome. Some manila tags, which I don't have. That'll be fun to play with. A guest check, so cool. And then a couple napkins. And who doesn't love decoupaging with napkins? You guys know me and my decoupage with my tissues and my napkins and my papers. Love it. And this is a piece of deli paper as well. So those are the goodies that she puts in there to throw into your journal. And then, last but not least, we have two pieces of chipboard for your cover. And then you have a whole entire paper kit from Tsunami Rose. This is an entire kit. I think it's like 21 pages. It is beautiful. There's like tags. I'm not going to go through every single sheet, but there's ephemera sheets. I love this black postcard. That's so cool. Ephemera sheets here. And then of course you have your sheets that you can use throughout the book. Look at this. Is that not gorgeous? These are like some more cards, some ledger. Oh, this one is so cute. Stripes. I love it. I love it. It's a gorgeous set, guys. It's a gorgeous set of papers. So you have that as well. You have all your little ephemera pieces. Ooh, this is gorgeous. I love these and the black. That is so cool. That is so cool. I can't wait to use this. So guys, that's it. That is the full kit. Like I said, ooh, can you see that pattern? My camera sucks. I hope you can see this, guys. I hope it's focusing and everything is all good because I am not recording this again. No, I'm not. <laughs> That's the whole kit. It is extensive. It has literally everything that you need. Like, if you don't even have your own papers, you can use this entire kit and have a full journal. You don't even need to add additional papers. It's that good. Little bits and bobs and stuff. Amazing kit. Can't wait to play with this. I will be making more videos, guys. Stay tuned. This is just the unboxing. So I am going to make a video of doing the cover and doing the journal. So this whole journal that I make is going to be recorded. So stay tuned. Coming extremely soon, probably later today or tomorrow, I'll have my next video up. I'm so sorry, guys. It took me literally forever to post another video after Mother's Day. It's just been cray-cray. So... That's it. I'm not going to ramble on anymore. Stay tuned, guys. Bye.